And now our final presentation today will be by Assistant Professor Enrique Melendez Galan. The floor is yours. And um, applying board games to achieve competencies oh, in humanities. Sounds to... very interesting. Thank you for, uh, to the University of Crete for the invitation. Thank you to the University of Finland. Thank you for uh, organizing this staff academy, this part of the of the 10 days of Ingenium. I'm here to talk about applying board games to the education in many cases in art history. Uh, it's part of a research project about use of game-based learning in the for the formation in art history and history we are i am here to talk about humanities and in this case uh, we decided to to make a team that we are all the members of this team because i i want to to present it to introduce him and they are from Santa, Antonio, Pedro, uh, and Carla. No, we are part of uh, this group, and we our objective is to use uh, different board games to solve different problems we have detected on these years of as a teachers. In our case, uh, we have uh, detected there is a big problem in the students when they have to retain dates or they have to organize different historical events. Uh, there is a very big problem, they, but I don't mind if they don't know exactly the date when something happens. I don't care, but I think it's very, very uh, most uh, more important to identify the order of the um, of the different events of this milestone. Uh, there is uh, this is the problem, and we decided to use gamification based uh, game based learning, try, uh, trying to solve this problem. In this case, the objective is to apply uh, me mechanics of our already existing games to our field of research. In this case, we are going to use uh, timeline and time uh, and time sap. Maybe if you like uh, board games, maybe you know uh, this game. But if you don't, don't worry, because the, the rules are very simple and we are going to play here and you are going to uh, to retain this very, very, it's very easy to, to play. In this case, this game, uh, in the case of Team Lane, the objective of the game is to order a time lane, as his name uh, say. Uh, there are different uh, different ways of um, maybe one of them is inspired in events, another one is inspired in invention, another one is inspired in Spain, and they have uh, we decided to use it to create our our um, our project. In, in the subjects of Muslim art and in the subject of Spanish art. As you can see, there are two faces cards. In one of them, there is the dimension of the wheel, the dimension of the shop marine, the dimension of the pen. And in the other in the other face of this card, there are the date uh, when this, in, for example, the compact disc was created. And they have to order this, this timeline. After that, I explain how we can play. And the other game is Time's Up. This uh, game is different. It's uh, focused on how uh, you have to describe an event, a character, an historical moment, and you have to, um, to try to, to do it as fast as possible because you have just uh, 30 seconds trying to explain. It. We are going to do after that an, um, an explanation. As you can see, you have different BB-8, for example, from Star Wars, uh, Al Capone for Scam, Indiana Jones. Uh, the original game is to play with friends in a very, uh, for example, if you want to, to drink something with your friends and you want to be relaxed, it's a good, ga a good game to, to laugh uh, just a bit. Well, what kind of takeaway skill we can, we can take? Uh, using this game with our students. In the first case, there is a very important part of the chronological uh, reason, no? to arrange events, artworks of historical facts in chronological order. This is uh, one of the, our main objectives because it's the biggest problem we have found with our students. The other one is critical thinking and decision making to, strateg to strategize, analyze historical events and make choices because you have to, to put it in the real order, or you have to think, how can I describe this character of the best way? And the second one is an effective 
communication because you have to discuss with your teammates, you have to present in of different issues. And after the after this practice, after these um, different uh, games, they uh, gave us to the teachers a feedback about how could be the game better. Okay. I'm gonna do. I will uh, like to play with all of you. I'm going to make different groups, but at first I'm going to explain the rules and your choice uh, which game. What do you What do you want to play? The timeline, as you can see, we have, for example, in in the case we have been this implementation, we did a deck specific for uh, Islamic and Andalusian art. No, for example, we have events like the uh, an important battles. Uh, or work of arts. We have all different characters making something very uh, specific in a, in a specific moment. And you have to order chronological uh, on a chronological order. Another case of a study we, uh, was using Spanish art. And in this case, we use different But And for uh, Ingenium, we have created a specific deck with different painting of modern and contemporary art. That is the, uh, the material with uh, you are going to play. And the other, on the other hand, we have the other, the other game that is Thames Up. That you can see uh, we have two, two colors because it's a way to take the most of the of the deck, and you don't have to use a lot of cards because you can change if you want to play another game, and you don't need to print a lot of. Okay, I'm going to explain the rules because uh, they are very simple. And after that, we can organize and to prove. And maybe if you like, you can take note for the, for apply for your students. And in this case, they are very specific for uh, humanities students. But maybe you can think about another board games to apply in this same way. Just taking the mechanics of this game. That is the, the, the basis. In timeline, by teams, or if you want, maybe we are not a lot, maybe we can play as uh, in an individual way. We have a card with a, an exactly date with a side up. And when it's your turn, you have to think if you put your event that you have here, the card, before or after this uh, milestone. If you put, uh, when you put, you check in. Yes the side uh, we can face up and you see if the is the, the data is correct you see if after okay the the card stay here and the turn passes of the next player i don't know if you have understand yes no. perfect if you for example if you think and if you failed um putting your card when uh, there is uh, when in an incorrect position, you discard this card and you have to, to draw another one. And the turn passes for the next player. The player who, this, uh, who uh, put all these cards correctly win the game. There is no, no more. Maybe you can, when you draw, if you fail and you draw an event card, you can use the special event. For example, you can make that one player draws two court more. It's a way to dynamic, the, to make more dynamic the game and to establish maybe a competitive way. It's funny. I think it's fun. And the other uh, play, it's very, uh, it's more difficult, but I think it's very simple. Um, um, in this case, you have to make a description of the character you have. You draw a card and. In this case, you have to play with a teammate and you have to describe your character or the painting or the event to your teammate. And you have to use, you have to be very fast because you have just 30 seconds to do it. In this case, for example, if you have Michelangelo, you have to say, oh, Renaissance artist, sculptor of David and painter of the Sistine Chapel sailing. And maybe if, the, if your teammate now, he can say, okay, Michelangelo, it's... <laughs> We don't see, but he's saying Michelangelo. But imagine you make okay. If you if, if the if the answer is correct, you take the card because this is a point, and you have to the rest of the time to make another description. The objective is to make an, all the description you can, and the other. Yes, 
you can make if you if you are very fast on your teammate also you can take two three points in in your turn but imagine if you don't know what is this character or imagine if you are doing the the description i'm Ba, ta, ta, ta. Imagine you are doing this description, but your friend doesn't know who is Michelangelo. You have to try to think in another way. For example, uh, you can say the ninja turtle with the orange bandana and mask. And maybe your friend say, hey, it's Michelangelo. And maybe it's going to be... Okay, it's uh, a way to to think in, in, in a, to think with another options. And in this case, it's Perfect. When the deck is over, all the cards are uh, again shuffled and the second round starts. In the second round, you have to use just one, go one word. For example, if you have the card of Michelangelo, you can say just one word. For example, David, Michelangelo, okay. Or Ninja, Michelangelo. In this case, very uh, simple. David, Michelangelo, and everybody is, uh, is happy. In the second one, imagine you say Michelangelo and he said Raphael. For example, if you say David and he said your teammate Raphael, okay, no, it's bad. And you have to take the, the next one and to put it, uh, to, to do it as fast as you can. And in the third round, when you have been you uh, in the first round you I uh, you make all the description in the second round you use just one word and in the third one you have to use the mimic it is the funny part and you have to try how to explain for example if it's Michelangelo you can uh, sculpt in or maybe if you <laughs> use the Nunchakus if, if they don't know whatever you want uh, you can do it <laughs> every everything is very funny and after that again you for example you can mimic a painting or something like that and imagination oh, okay michelangelo perfect and in this uh, in this round you can't skip the car you have to make the ridiculous all the time uh, trying to explain it is a fun part and okay we are going to try because I think it's the best way to do it is practice it. Um, if you want, we can, not for example, uh, three, what do you want to play? What do you prefer to play? This one? Yes, for example, uh, come here with, decide which time, uh, which team are you? You need a teammate and two against two, for example. Two, both of you could be a team and another. Okay. You have the rules here if you need. This is a setup to prepare. What do you want to play? The time's up or the timeline? Time's up, perfect. The rules. Uh, you need one more because you have to make uh, different teams. Yes. You want to play with him or? Do you want to prove the timeline? Well, this thing, okay. What do you want? What do you want? Timeline or time up? The timeline? The timeline is to put a difference. Do you want to come higher? Where do you want? If you want to play uh, Time's Up, you need one more person because you have to do uh, th uh, three teams. Do you? Ah, oh, perfect. Well, when the rules of Time's Up, you have here the, the rules if you need help. Choose your teammate and a team could be for three. For example, you have to choose, look the card, uh, choose, for example, yellow. Okay, and you can you can check your cards. Imagine you don't know who is uh, Helen of Troy, or imagine you don't you don't know who is Friedrich the painting. Well, you can discard this card, and you can play with this one. 
Everybody choose these five. Five, 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 and make a common deck. And you play with this card. The first player, for example, if you are the first player, you start the description, for example, and you're on the Baptist. And you have to try to, to explain to your teammate who is. Okay? If you have any doubt, you have this, uh, the rules and try just to play one round or something like that. Uh, seven cards and you discard seven cards and you discard both of them because imagine you don't know who is, I don't know, Rafael. Sorry? Yes, yes. It's yes. No, don't worry. Um, yes, cross it. Uh, you, 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 and you, the teams. Because your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn. You have to make the description for him, for her. You have to make the description for her, and you have to make the description for her. Okay. If you don't want it, or if things you can play or change, I don't mind. Yes. I'm going to give you the rules. This, these are the rules. The rules. Yes, if you read the, the rules, you can follow the, the setup and the... Everything okay? The color before we start the game. Yes. No, no, all the same color, because all of you are going to play with the same size. Imagine, for example, all of you choose the yellow part, and the rest for the rest of the game, you ignore the the purple side. Yes, it's just a way to to take the most of the paper. Don't, don't. and you this. Okay, you uh, decide to discard. If you don't know, for example, who is Perseus, you discard these two cards and the other one. And with the uh, twenty cards, you shuffle and you make one deck. And with this deck, you can play. I don't know how you have explained. Yes, all the five cards are together. These are your five cards. Give me your five cards. And this is the main deck. And in the, for example, imagine I am playing with you. Imagine I am your teammate. And, and I have 30 seconds. You want to use the mobile, or maybe at the beginning, you don't have to use it. And for example, it's very difficult this time. For example, a great hero who was in the Trojan battle, and Brad Pitt was the best one. OK, and you have the point. This is was very difficult, for example. Uh, it's the painting of the garden of the. It's a very famous. Uh, the garden of the, the delightful. I don't know how to say it. No, it's. Uh... Ah, that that is the card. Ah, okay. Maybe you don't know. Maybe because it's difficult. Maybe you don't know. And don't worry. In the turn, the thirty seconds passes, and go to the next one. The second round, with one word. In this case, for example, if you have Achilles, I say Troy, and you say Achilles, OK? Or Brat, if you want to say. <laughs> yes, you have to choose just one color. At the beginning of the game, you, de you decide which color is going to use it. And OK, this is the setup to prepare the game, but yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's, it's fine. The first round is frustrating, but the second one with all the names and all the cards are, note, are known, everybody can made faster. For example, I don't know, a tower, 
you are going to say Gustav Eiffel because in the first round, you know the name because of the first round. No, you can you can say Gustav because it's in the name. You cannot say yes. You have to say, for example, or, or Paris, something like that. Everything, everything is the same. It's the same timeline. Yes, yeah, here, 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 or here. Uh, you can, yes. Uh, this was wrong. No, it's one. Oh, it's 1921. Okay, this card, I'm sorry. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a, mi a, mi a misclick. Nah, don't worry. No, but it's not uh, in a way. When did you put uh, the card? Or the first card? Oh, take, take another one. Uh, it's bad luck. Take another one, please. <laughs> yes, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yes, perfect. One of the things of this game is this last one. The game can become more challenging as the timeline grows, requiring players to insert more events under the chronological order. Yeah. You have to four cards for every player. I think it's, yes, it's player or team receive five cards from the deck with the dice side facing down. Yes. No. You pick another card. This was is discarded. This one? Yes. You discard and you pick another one. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> This card, and you have to draw another one. No, I made it. I printed it, yes. Yes. It's important because it's not so important to remind the, the date, but uh, for example, Surbaran, yes, Sur, yes, Surbaran, for example, Surbaran is after Paolo Veronese, or Rubens is painting at the same time that Surbaran. That's very important. Uh, it's, bar it's Baroque, it's the same genre, but this is a Spanish Baroque, and this is a. When you fail and you have to draw another card, you and for example in the main deck it's the event, you uh, read the event, and you can for example you can choose one of the players. I don't know who who is winning. Who? Pretty simply. <laughs> but for example, if she is winning, you can say, okay, draw two court cards more. Yes, uh, ignore ignore them at this moment. It has to. And in your turn, and in your turn, if you don't know the name at this moment, when it's your turn, you are going to read this card in any moment and you say oh fuck it was uh, this one if you don't know this uh, which is a uh, card you have uh that's that you have used these cards this is your, your points and that's are your points for example uh just to make faster ignore these cards and we are going to pay uh to 
Yes, the second round. Yes, because we are going to use the cards. Uh, no, 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 but you have to, you have to, yes. But at first, you have four points, your team, and five points. And you have to shuffle all the cards together and start the second round just with one word. All together, yes. Yes. Sí. 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 René Magritte. René Magritte. But just one word, and if you fail, the card is discarded. You have just one chance. One only word and one only chance to say the uh, uh, correct answer. Imagine you say it. Yes, one try. Yes. No, <laughs> <laughs> fail. No. Oh. <laughs> Ah, yes. The atomium. <laughs> the atomium. It's difficult. Yeah, thank you. You, ha you have just one. You are going to win. You know the the date. You know the date. Do you know the date? No. Ah, okay. Yes. Is that her name? So this cannot be as old as I eventually want. Uh, sorry? Angelica Kaufman, yes. A painter. She's... I don't... Um, sorry? Ah, it's very... It's very trendy. Ah, it's... Ah. Uh, Ah, um, okay. Yes, yes, yes. It's here. Okay. Let's stop playing. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to finish the presentation. 
I'm going to make a, a to close the presentation. Okay. Thank you so much for playing. I'm going to. I want to talk about very fast about the preliminary result of the application of this game in our Muslim and Islamic art and our Spanish art uh, class history. And in this case, uh, what's the problem? The problem is we have a very low number of students in art history. And we don't have at this moment the uh, a great number of uh, data to make uh, a good, uh, for example, a good uh, conclusion. But at this moment, we can see how with uh, in the first test, they make a test with different dates. And in this case, the, the evaluation was very, very uh, low. And after playing in three sessions with a timeline game, which is uh, the game you have been playing, the quality of the tests were higher. And in this case, was with I. With, uh, with, uh, was with the subject Islamic and Muslim art. And with the, uh, the most important thing is that 15 out of the 16 students who completed both questionnaires improved their results. This is not very, very relevant and the same results we can see in the subject Spanish art, something very similar. What's the problem? The problem is that the number of students in, 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 in this case in music, in music science, that is a Spanish art, is an option for the fourth the, uh, course of the degree. The number is very low of participants and we need uh, to improve this part for the future. We are trying to connect with other degrees of other universities in Spain. We are going to, to take this in the high school or in the primary school to make something very simple because our objective is uh, try to use this implementation um, trying to, to make better in all the levels of education. What is the challenge? The challenge in this conclusion is well, the initial implementation of game based learning in our art history projects has some promising qualitative outcomes. The absence of quantitative information at this stage is a notable challenge. This is a problem, I think. This lack of extensive post implementation data emphasizes the need for ongoing research and assessment representing a crucial aspect for future refinement and optimization of our innovative teaching approach. In the second one, we can take, uh, well, we are optimistic with the results because we see that the, the, the knowledge of this student, especially we have been working with Timeline, is going better. And in this case, uh, we know that the need for further research and evaluation uh, uh, and the preliminary uh, the preliminary, uh, preliminary outcomes inspire optimism for the continued exploration and refinement of innovative teaching approaches. And finally, the takeaways. The positive outcomes observed in our project highlight the importance of the takeaway skills cultivated through game based learning. These skills, including uh, chronological reasoning, critical thinking, and effective communication, not only contribute to improve student in performance, but also, see, but also signify the potential of game based learning to enhance the overall education experience. This is our project. We are going to uh, still working on, the, on it. And thank you so much for participating and uh, for this day's hearing in Crete. Thank you so much.